What's going on guys? Welcome back here on my channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Sasha and in today's video, we're going to talk about how you can grow a personal Instagram account in 2020. So if that sounds interesting, let's get right into it. Now, first things first, the biggest mistake I see with other people on Instagram is they are not very specific about their content, especially personal Instagram accounts. So if you want to grow your personal account, then you have to be very specific about the type of content that you're posting and what kind of target audience you're addressing with it. And the reason for that is if you're posting this and that and talking about this and that, then it can be very hard for a potential follower to understand what you're all about and therefore, um, yeah, feel the, feel the need, the urgency to follow you to see future content. So the rule of thumb is uh, to have three kind of topics that uh, correlate with each other. So for example, if you want to address people that are interested in building a business, building a online business, for example, then uh, your first piece of uh, piece of content, your first topic could be uh, business in general. The next one could be online marketing and the third one could be social media marketing, for example. So with that strategy, you've got a pool of topics that you can choose from with every of your uploads, with every content piece that you create. And therefore, um, you can diversify a little bit but still at the end of the day, you're addressing one big general topic and a potential follower that comes across your profile um, knows exactly what kind of content to expect in the future and therefore may, may feel the need and urgency to follow you, which should be your goal. So look at your content and ask yourself if you would follow your account if you were someone from your target audience. Now understanding that is very important because there's actually only two metrics when it comes to growing an Instagram account. The first one is reach. So if you're reaching a very huge audience, then you're definitely going to go faster. So that is the first metric. The second metric is conversion. Now, let's say you're not reaching a lot of people, only a small amount of people through your content, then it's even more so important to convert more people from that small audience into actual followers. So those are the two metrics that you need to know reach and conversion. And now let's say you combine those two, then you're going to grow your account like crazy. And that's why it's so important to be very, very specific with your content. The more specific you are, the higher the chances that you actually convert someone that you reach on Instagram into an actual follower. And now the next tip does also have to do with being very specific. And that is in regards to your hashtags. So when it comes to the hashtags on Instagram, like I said, two metrics, if you want to reach more people, then you have to be very specific with your hashtags. The more specific you are, the higher the chances that you actually reach the right audience. And with that, telling the algorithm that your content is actually relevant to that audience, that it's that is seeing your content and therefore increasing your reach even more. I mean, a lot of people think the algorithm is bad or something like that, but in the end, at the end of the day, the algorithm is programmed that way that it shows the most relevant content to people where it, there's actual relevancy. So if you are very specific about your content and very specific about your audience that you want to reach and therefore very specific about your hashtags, then this dramatically increases your relevancy and therefore your reach. And so the more people you'll reach, the faster you will grow your account on Instagram. But not only this, with the next tip, you can dramatically increase your reach as well. And that is being consistent. The more consistent you are, meaning the more content you put out on a consistent basis, the more touch points you have for your target audience to actually stumble upon you and therefore convert into a follower. Once again, relevancy is the keyword. So to become more relevant, you have to create and push out more content so that your audience cannot ignore you. If you do that, then you dramatically, you will dramatically increase your reach and therefore your growth, which leads us directly to the next tip, which is also designed to increase reach and that is collaborations. So no matter what your target audience is, no matter what kind of content you create, there will be already people out there that have similar accounts, create similar content and yeah, trying to attract a very similar target audience. And what you can do is actually rather simple. You can reach out to those accounts and uh, yeah, just ask, ask them to do a collaboration and uh, create content together and link to each other's account. But not only this, if you have a little bit of money that you can spend on growing your accounts, 
then you can a um, pay for shout outs so you can go to bigger pages in your in your industry that attract or already have um, people from a target audience and you can pay them so that they shout you out so what that means is they repost some of your postings and uh, therefore channel their audience that already is quite big or should be quite big to your account and therefore turn them into your followers too and last but not least you could also run ads so once again if you get, if you've got a little bit of money that you can spend on growing your accounts then you could simply run ads with the target of bringing people to your account to turn them into followers now if that is something that you have in mind if you want to actually do that then uh, you should be very very specific beforehand about your content once again and uh, the target audience that you want to attract and then also you can optimize your bio so your profile looks very interesting and compelling for your target audience so that when you spend money on uh, advertisements you actually once again convert more people that you reach with the advertisement into actual followers. So that's it for that. Whatever you do, when it comes to growing an Instagram account, always keep in mind the two important metrics, reach and conversion. Now, with that being said, that's it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and found it valuable. If you did so, as always, smash the subscribe button, join the family, and I'm looking forward to see you in my next video. I keep it going, I'm rolling and flowing, I'm coasting, I got them all trolling me right. I just keep growing and showing them knowing I'm moaning this fall, you can catch me outside. Gonna get them all with a little payback. Never gonna fall, I'ma stay on the attack. Put them up against the wall as I finish every track.